teaching that is behind me picks up on the Temple of Mars that Emperor Augustus set up on the forum to promote trade and to create a stock exchange where women citizens could conduct business. I have projected the temple into the future of uh, armament trading which is a key industry of our century. The columns of the temples have transformed into intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBM, which reflects the nuclear threat on the human race. One of these uh, columns is actually a minaret that is taking off symbolizing the threat from fundamentalist Islamism to the human race as we go into f further into the 21st century. The trade that is going on is taking place in dollars which are prevalent all over the painting and show that only one currency, the US dollar, is used into all these transactions. On each side of the temple, on the pedestals, are two characters. On the left-hand side, there is Christopher Columbus. On the right-hand side, of course, there is uh, Reinhard Heydrich, who is the architect of the final solution against the Jews in 1942. I put these two to show the parody of values Christopher Columbus is uh, adulated as the discoverer of America, despite the fact that his discovery led to the extermination of native people. On the other side, Aranheit Heydrich is a war criminal, although his action at the end of the day are not much different from Christopher Columbus's. And to add to the irony of the entire situation, I have picked a picture of Christopher Columbus when he is actually making a salute very close to what the Nazi salute was. The temple reflects the constant massacre of people by people and one of the keys of the painting is actually on the bottom right side where you have people going into a gate which is similar to the gate of Auschwitz and this gate bears the title of Lasciate ogni speranza which is the words that Dante tells us are written on top of the entrance to hell. You who enter here abandon any hope. There, so we abandon any hope to be able uh, of being able to change this military industrial complex that is running our lives and that we are completely isolated from. As a matter of fact, when you look at the door or the temple, the door has no lock, which means that we as outsiders can never enter of our own will. We have to be let in, we have to be initiated. Above the door you see a bright yellow light going on that is uh, lighting the building from inside which uh, probably suggests that there are transactions going on as we speak, as we look at the temple, there are people inside transacting the instruments of death, weapons, armament and dollars. The painting is also full of symbolisms hidden within the recesses of the painting. For example, if you look at the smoke coming out of the minaret, uh, the smoke is actually handwriting. If you look at every one of the uh, ICBMs, there is writing. There is writing in French, in Russian, in English, in German. And one of the um, ICBMs is labeled Satana, which is the code name of NATO, which means Satan. And you can look at the warheads that come, become books. And the title of the book, of course, is The Idiot. So this gives you a small overview of the painting and a small overview of what the philosophy behind the painting is. The top of the temple shows the continuation of death through war. 
you have uh, on the right hand side the queen of the Amazons who was murdered uh, by Achilles. Then on the left hand side you actually have Achilles dying. And then we jump into the 21st, until the 20th century with the assassination of Jews by Nazis and finally into the assassination of civilians by ISIS members which is symbolized there. And all this blood falls through the cracks of the temple and creates a river of blood that you can see on the right hand side of the painting. When you look at the painting and you are looking at it the first time, you probably say, well, this is a surrealistic work. But let's not forget the surrealism was defined as an art style that um, is subconscious. So there is uh, the artist translates onto the artwork the subconscious of his mind. Here, this painting is not subconscious at all. It is very conscious. And it has three different layers of uh, meaning. The aesthetic layer, the uh, layer where you understand each separate piece of the painting, and then the philosophy behind it, where you put it all together. And this style of painting, I name Forism, because it is not surrealism. It is my style of painting based on a deep philosophy philosophical view of the world and I call it forism.